Welcome back to our Pamela's Pro Workout video series, where we take a closer look at the more unique and powerful features of the Pam Pro. Today, we'll continue building upon the generative sequencing capabilities explored in part one. Starting with generative rhythms and a CV gate sequence, we'll set up an automatic seed reset to generate new beats and melodies every four bars. Here we have a random generative beat sequenced from channels 5 through 8 using varied amounts of probability between outputs. Let's set each to loop 4 beats, starting with output 5 triggering the kick. Using the next out shortcut, we can quickly jump to the loop pages of consecutive outputs. Let's return to output 5 and navigate to the cross operation page. We'll scroll all the way to the end of the list and select seed. This will trigger a seed reset when the selected source output goes high. Here we'll set it to output 1. Let's continue on using the next out shortcut to quickly jump to the cross operation pages and set them to the same for the following three outputs. Note that the source is set to output 1 by default, so we don't need to change it. Let's move to output 1, which is currently muted. We'll lower its clock speed to divide by 16, which is equivalent to 4 bars. Let's unmute output 1 and watch the seed reset take effect. Each time output 1 triggers, a new pattern is generated by outputs 5 through 8. Once a pattern is generated to our liking, we can once again mute output 1 to stop the automatic seed reset from occurring. Now let's connect outputs 3 and 4 to our synth voice to produce a generative bass line. Here output 3 is generating random rhythms using probability and output 4 is generating random notes using the pitch sequencing method outlined in the previous video. Let's set output 3 to loop. Then we'll move to output 4 and do the same for the pitch sequence. Let's return to output 3 and again enable the seed reset cross operation. We'll do this for both the rhythm and pitch sequences controlling our bass line. Unmuting output 1 will now reset all 6 outputs. The result is an instant track generator that produces a new beat and melody every four bars. Finally, we can mute output 1 again to stop the automatic seed reset and keep the latest loop going.
Thanks for watching this closer look at the unique Seed Reset cross operation, a powerful tool for random generative sequencing with Pamela's Pro Workout. Of course, generative sequencing can be taken much further when combined with Pam's many other parameters. Try experimenting with random sequencing and loops yourself to unlock new and exciting uses for Pamela's Pro Workout. Subscribe to ALM TV for the latest releases in our PAM Pro series. For more information on PAMA's Pro Workout and the rest of the ALM line, please visit busycircuits.com.